Money, just hearing the word, can trigger a range of emotions. For some, it brings excitement and ambition. For others, it evokes stress, anxiety, or even dread. But no matter how you feel about money, there's one undeniable truth. It plays a pivotal role in our lives. Understanding the rules of money isn't just about getting rich. It's about gaining control over your life, finding peace, and unlocking opportunities you didn't know were possible. In this video, I'm going to break down the essential rules of money in a way that's not just understandable but relatable so you can start applying them right away. Rule 1. Spend less than you earn. This might sound like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how many people struggle with this. The first and most important rule of money is simple. Spend less than you earn. If you're constantly spending more than you bring in, you're digging yourself into a financial hole that's hard to escape from. Imagine trying to build a house on sand. It doesn't matter how beautiful the house is, it will crumble. The same goes for your finances. Spending more than you earn is like building on sand. It's unstable, and it's only a matter of time before everything comes crashing down. But let's be real. Sticking to this rule is tough. We live in a world where temptation is everywhere. Ads scream at us to buy the latest gadget, and social media shows us friends living their best lives with things we think we need. Sometimes, we just want to indulge after a hard day's work. So, how do we overcome this? It starts with understanding what truly matters to you. What do you value more? The fleeting joy of a new purchase or the lasting peace of financial security? This isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making conscious choices. Every dollar you don't spend on something unnecessary is a dollar that can go towards something meaningful, whether that's paying off debt, saving for the future, or investing in something that will grow your wealth. Rule 2. Pay yourself first. Next up is a rule that sounds simple but is often overlooked. Pay yourself first. What does this mean? It means before you pay any bills, buy groceries, or spend on entertainment, you need to set aside a portion of your income for savings or investments. Think about it like this. You are your most important bill. You wouldn't skip paying your rent or your utilities, so why skip paying yourself? When you make paying yourself a priority, you're ensuring that you have something to fall back on in tough times or something to invest in your future. This might mean automatically transferring a percentage of your paycheck into a savings account the moment you get paid. Start small if you have to, 5%, 10%, and increase it as you can. Be consistent and over time, this habit will build a financial cushion that can give you peace of mind and financial freedom. Rule three, avoid bad debt and leverage good debt. Debt can be a tricky thing. Some people will tell you that all debt is bad and others will tell you that it's been of great help in building their wealth. Both these individuals are right as there are two types of debt, good debt and bad debt. Bad debt is the kind that drags you down with high interest payback, like high interest credit cards or payday loans. These are the kinds of debt that you want to avoid like the plague. The interest on them compounds against you, meaning the longer you take to pay it off, the more it costs you in the long run. On the other hand, there is good debt, like a mortgage, debt that can potentially increase your wealth or improve your life in some way but even good debt should be managed carefully. The rule of thumb? Avoid bad debt at all costs, and if you must take on good debt, make sure it's something that will ultimately benefit you and you can manage to pay it. Rule four, plan for the unexpected. Life is unpredictable. One day everything's fine and the next, your car breaks down or you lose your job. This is where an emergency fund comes into play. An emergency fund is like your financial safety net, there to catch you when life throws you a curveball. Think of it as an insurance policy for your finances. Ideally, you want to have three to six months worth of living expenses saved up in your emergency fund. 
This might seem like a lot, but remember this fund is what stands between you and financial disaster in case of an emergency. Start small if you need to, with just $500 or $1,000, and build up from there. The peace of mind you'll get from knowing you have a financial cushion to fall back on is invaluable. And the best part? An emergency fund keeps you from going into debt when unexpected expenses arise. Rule 5. Invest in your future. Saving money is great, but if you really want to build wealth, you need to invest. Investing is like planting a tree. The earlier you start, the bigger it grows. The earlier you start, the more time your money has to grow through, compounding the interest earned in the investments. Whether it's in index funds, the stock market, real estate, or even a retirement account like a 401k or an IRA, the key is to start early and be consistent. Don't worry if you don't have a lot of money to invest at first. Even small amounts can grow into significant wealth over time if you stay committed and let compound interest work its magic. Rule 6. Know the power of compound interest. Talking about your investments growing, We've all heard about the magic of compound interest, but do we really understand it? Compound interest is the process where your investment earns interest, and then that interest earns interest, and so on. It's like a snowball effect, where your money grows faster and faster over time. Imagine rolling a snowball down a hill. It starts small, but as it rolls, it picks up more snow and gets bigger and bigger. That's how compound interest works. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow and the more powerful the effects of compounding become. The longer your money has to compound, the more wealth you can build over time. Rule 7. Don't try to time the market. One of the biggest mistakes investors make is trying to time the market, buying low and selling high. But the truth is, timing the market is incredibly difficult, even for experts. Think of the stock market like the weather. It's unpredictable, and trying to guess what it will do next is a fool's game. Instead of trying to time the market, focus on time in the market. The longer you stay invested, the more likely you are to see positive returns. By consistently investing over time, you can take advantage of the market's long-term upward trend without getting caught up in the short-term noise. Rule 8. Understand the difference between assets and liabilities. If you want to master your finances, you need to understand the difference between assets and liabilities. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket, while a liability is something that takes money out of your pocket. It's that simple. Think of assets as your financial soldiers working to bring in more money. These can be investments, rental properties, or even a side business. Liabilities, on the other hand, are like financial drains. They pull money out of your pocket without bringing anything back. This includes things like car payments, credit card debt, and sometimes a mortgage if it's not helping you build wealth. The goal is to acquire more assets and minimize your liabilities. The more assets you have, the more income you can generate, and the less dependent you'll be on a paycheck. Start by identifying your current assets and liabilities. Then, make a plan to acquire more assets while reducing or eliminating your liabilities. Rule 9. Live below your means but within your joy. This rule is a balancing act. It's about finding contentment in living within your means while still enjoying life. It's not about extreme frugality or depriving yourself of joy. It's about being mindful of your spending and making sure that your financial choices align with your values and happiness. Imagine your financial life as a tightrope walk. On one side, there's overspending, which leads to debt and financial stress. On the other side, there's extreme frugality, which can lead to a joyless existence. The key is to find balance, spending wisely on things that bring you genuine happiness while saving and investing for the future. Living below your means doesn't mean never treating yourself. It means making conscious decisions about where your money goes and ensuring that those decisions enhance your life rather than burden it. Rule 10. Never stop learning about money.
The financial world is always changing and money is like any other skill that requires continuous learning and practice. New investment opportunities come up, tax laws change, and economic conditions can all impact your financial situation. That's why it's crucial to never stop learning about money. This rule isn't just about reading books or taking courses. It's about cultivating a mindset of curiosity and growth. The more you learn, the more empowered you become to make smart financial decisions. And the more you understand, the less intimidating money becomes. Let's be honest, money can be a source of anxiety for many. But education is the antidote to fear. The more you know, the more confident you'll feel in managing your finances, making investments, and navigating the complexities of the financial world. Rule 11. Don't rely on one income stream. In today's economy, relying on a single source of income can be risky. That's why it's important to diversify your income streams. It's like having multiple pillars holding up your financial house. If one pillar crumbles, the house still stands. This rule is about security and freedom. When you have multiple streams of income, you're not just surviving, you're thriving. You have the freedom to take risks, explore opportunities, and say no to things that don't align with your values. Diversifying your income doesn't mean you need to start multiple businesses overnight. It could be as simple as investing in an index fund that gives you an interest or pays dividends every year. The key is to create additional sources of income that can support you if one stream dries up. Rule 12. Understand the psychology of money. The psychology of money is powerful and often overlooked. How you think and feel about money can significantly impact your financial decisions and overall success. This rule is about becoming aware of your money mindset and understanding how it influences your behavior. Let's break this down with a personal reflection. Think about your earliest memory of money. Was it positive or negative? Did you grow up in a household where money was a source of stress, or was it something freely discussed and managed wisely? These early experiences shape our attitudes toward money in profound ways. For some, money represents security. For others, it might symbolize freedom, power, or even fear. Understanding your own money mindset can help you identify patterns that might be holding you back. For instance, if you've always seen money as something scarce and hard to come by, you might be more prone to fear-based decisions like hoarding money or avoiding investments. On the other hand, if you view money as a tool for empowerment and growth, you're more likely to take calculated risks and invest in opportunities that can build wealth. By understanding your psychology around money, you can make more informed, rational decisions that align with your long-term goals. Rule 13. Be mindful of taxes. Taxes can take a big bite out of your income and investments, so it's important to be mindful of taxes when making financial decisions. Think of taxes like a toll on a highway. Every time you earn income or sell an investment, you have to pay a toll to the government. But just like you can plan your route to avoid high tolls, you can plan your finances to minimize your tax burden. This might mean investing in tax-advantaged accounts like a 401k or IRA, taking advantage of deductions and credits, or timing your investments to minimize capital gains taxes. By being mindful of taxes, you can keep more of your hard-earned money. Rule 14. Focus on net worth, not just income. Income is important, but it's not the only measure of financial success. Net worth, the difference between what you own and what you owe, is a better indicator of your financial health. Imagine you're building a house. Your income is the bricks, but your net worth is the entire structure. You could have all the bricks in the world, but if you're not putting them together wisely, you won't end up with a strong house. Focus on growing your net worth by saving, investing, and paying down debt. Over time, this will give you a more accurate picture of your financial progress. Rule 15. Make your money work for you. 
The ultimate goal of mastering these rules of money is to make your money work for you. This means reaching a point where your investments and assets generate enough income to support your lifestyle, giving you true financial freedom. Think of your money like a team of workers. When you first start out, you might be the only worker, toiling away for every dollar. But as you build wealth, you can hire more workers through investments, savings, and smart financial decisions that will help grow your money even when you're not actively working. The goal is to create streams of passive income where your money earns money. This could be through dividends from stocks, rental income from real estate, or interest from savings. By making your money work for you, you're not just working for a paycheck. You're building a system that generates income independently. Rule 16. Set clear financial goals. Without goals, Managing money is like sailing without a destination. Sure, you might end up somewhere, but is it where you want it to go? Setting clear financial goals gives you direction and purpose in your financial journey. It helps you focus your efforts and make decisions that move you closer to where you want to be. Financial goals come in all shapes and sizes. They can be short-term, like saving for a vacation, or long-term, like planning for retirement. The key is to make them specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, smart. For example, instead of saying, I want to save more money, a smart goal would be, I want to save $10,000 for a down payment on a house within the next two years. Setting goals also creates a sense of motivation and accountability. When you have a clear target in mind, you're more likely to stay committed to your financial plan. And each time you achieve a goal, no matter how small, it builds momentum and confidence for tackling the next one. Rule 17. Understand risk and reward. In finance, there's a fundamental principle that risk and reward are closely linked. Generally, the higher the potential return on an investment, the higher the risk involved. It's crucial to understand this relationship and to balance your portfolio according to your risk tolerance and financial goals. Think of investing as a seesaw. On one side, you have risk, and on the other side, you have reward. If you add more weight to one side, increasing risk, the other side, potential reward, goes up. But if you overload one side, it can tip the seesaw entirely. The key is to find the right balance that matches your financial goals and comfort level. For beginners, it's often wise to start with lower risk investments and gradually take on more risk as you become more comfortable and knowledgeable. Diversifying your investments can also help manage risk, as different types of assets respond differently to market conditions. Rule 18. Automate your finances. One of the best ways to stay on top of your financial goals is to automate your finances. Automation ensures that your savings, investments, and bill payments are handled regularly without you having to remember every detail. Imagine setting up a machine that automatically handles your chores. It saves you time and ensures things get done consistently. Similarly, automating financial tasks like setting up automatic transfers to your savings or investment accounts, frees you from manual management and helps you stay disciplined. By automating, you remove the temptation to skip savings or investment contributions and reduce the risk of late payments. It also helps you take advantage of pay yourself first by setting aside money before you have the chance to spend it. Rule 19. Track your spending and income. You can't manage what you don't measure. Automating your finances is great, but tracking your spending and income is also a fundamental rule of money because it gives you a clear picture of where your money is going and where it's coming from. Without this knowledge, it's easy to overspend or miss opportunities to save and invest. This rule is about awareness and control. By tracking every dollar, you can identify areas where you might be leaking money like that subscription you forgot to cancel or the daily coffee that adds up over time. It also allows you to adjust your budget and spending habits to align with your financial goals.
Tracking doesn't have to be tedious. With the plethora of budgeting apps and tools available today, you can easily monitor your finances in real time. Make it a habit to check in on your finances regularly, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly. The more aware you are, the more empowered you'll be to make decisions that benefit your financial health. Rule 20. Stay disciplined. Discipline is the backbone of financial success. It's easy to make a plan when you're motivated, but sticking to it when temptation and challenges arise is what sets successful people apart. Discipline in managing your money means making consistent, smart decisions, even when it's tough. Think of discipline as a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. It's about resisting the urge to splurge when you know that money could be better spent elsewhere or invested for the future. It's about staying committed to your goals, even when progress seems slow or when others are indulging in things you've chosen to forego. Staying disciplined isn't about never having fun or enjoying life. It's about making choices that align with your long-term vision. It's about understanding that every financial decision you make today will either bring you closer to your goals or push you further away from them. Rule 21. Adapt to change. The financial landscape is constantly evolving and so is life. Whether it's a change in your personal circumstances, a shift in the economy, or new financial products and opportunities, being adaptable is crucial to long-term financial success. Adapting to change means being flexible with your financial plans and willing to adjust your strategies as needed. It's about recognizing when something isn't working and having the courage to change course. This could mean re-evaluating your investments, adjusting your budget, or finding new ways to generate income. Think of it as navigating a ship through stormy waters. You can't control the weather, but you can adjust your sails and steer your ship to safety. In the same way, being adaptable with your finances ensures that you're prepared to face whatever comes your way. Rule 22. Be generous, but smart. Giving back is an important part of financial success, but it's important to be generous, but smart. This means giving in a way that aligns with your values and financial goals. Think of generosity like planting seeds. You want to plant in fertile soil where your contribution can grow and make a difference. This might mean donating to causes you care about or helping a family member in need. But just like with investing, it's important to have a plan. Make sure your generosity doesn't jeopardize your own financial stability. By being smart with your giving, you can make a bigger impact over the long term. Rule 23. Seek professional advice when needed. Managing money can be complex, and sometimes it's worth seeking help from professionals. Seeking professional advice from financial advisors, tax experts, or investment professionals can provide valuable insights and guidance. Imagine you're building a custom home. While you might have a vision, a skilled architect and contractor are essential for bringing that vision to life. Similarly, financial professionals can offer expertise that helps you navigate complex financial decisions and avoid costly mistakes. When choosing a professional, make sure they are qualified and have a good track record. Look for someone who understands your financial situation and goals and who can offer personalized advice that aligns with your needs. Rule 24. Cultivate a wealth mindset. Finally, developing a wealth mindset is crucial for long-term financial success. This means adopting attitudes and beliefs that support financial growth, such as viewing money as a tool rather than a source of stress and seeing opportunities rather than obstacles. Think of your mindset as the lens through which you view the world. A wealth mindset helps you approach financial challenges with optimism and resilience. It encourages you to continually learn, grow, and adapt to changing circumstances. Cultivating a wealth mindset involves focusing on abundance rather than scarcity, setting high financial goals, and believing in your ability to achieve them. Surround yourself with positive influences. 
read books on personal finance, and stay motivated by celebrating your progress and learning from setbacks. Rule 25. Understand that there will always be competition. In life and in finance, competition is inevitable. Whether it's competing for a job, a promotion, or a business opportunity, understanding that competition exists and will always be a part of life is crucial for your financial success. Think of life like a race. Everyone's running on the same track, but they're all running different races. Some people might sprint ahead while others take their time. The important thing to remember is that you're running your own race, and your competition should serve as motivation rather than a deterrent. Instead of fearing competition, embrace it as a driving force to improve yourself. Learn from your competitors, innovate, and stay adaptable. Remember, competition can bring out the best in you if you approach it with the right mindset. Bonus rule to always keep in mind, success is personal and a choice. Success isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. Success is personal and ultimately a choice you make every day. What success looks like for you may be different from someone else's definition, and that's okay. Imagine you're an artist painting a canvas. Your vision, your colors, and your style are unique to you. No one else can create the exact same masterpiece. Similarly, your financial success is a personal journey shaped by your values, goals, and choices. Choosing to be successful means taking responsibility for your financial future. It's about making decisions that align with your goals, even when the path isn't easy. Success is about persistence, discipline, and the willingness to learn from mistakes and adapt. It's important to recognize that success doesn't come from luck or chance. It comes from the deliberate choices you make each day, from saving and investing to learning and growing. Define what success means to you, make a plan to achieve it, and commit to that plan with unwavering determination.